you about uh, imaginary uh, images that emerge from the imagination. You can read those and you can interpret those based on how their brain lights up in an, M in an fMRI? In this study that we did, what we were trying to read out was uh, what people were holding in memory. And essentially, the way they held it in memory is that they had to keep imagining this pattern. So we present one of two visual patterns, and then we say, remember the first one or remember the second one. And uh, we could read out from a person's brain activity which of the two patterns they were holding in memory over time. This was work done with Stephanie Harrison um, from, from the fact that, that they kept thinking about that pattern. If they stopped thinking about it, that signal went away. And what was interesting about this study was that we revealed information using these decoding methods that uh, was never seen before. So before it was thought that the visual cortex is silent. It seems pretty quiet. And it's, it's, it goes silent when you're looking at a blank screen just thinking about something you see visually. Um, what we found is that if we measure the overall level of brain activity, the amount of blood flow going to the visual cortex, it, it fell back to the level of what you would see if a person was looking at a blank screen. But if we look at the detailed pattern, what we saw was a lot of information. We could read out what the person was holding memory with, with high accuracy. Tell me what this picture actually says. Um, you see, I'm assuming that the yellow and blue dots are, are the readout. Is that correct? It, they, it, they seem to be quite different. And yet you could identify that this person was remembering this pink object, I'm not sure what it is, uh, yeah. and holding it in her memory. And even with that, ver the, you know, I guess it's 18% variation in the, uh, in the readout of the brain. You said 83% accuracy, 83%. 17%. That's right. So, so this, is, this is a schematic. But what the yellow and blue patterns show are the, uh, the different chunks of the brain that, that are voting essentially for uh, one pattern or another, respond more to one pattern or another. And uh, when they're imagining one pattern or another, their activity is biased. Um, and so it's, it's not exactly the same remembering and seeing, but it's similar enough that we can predict with, with pretty good accuracy uh, what the person is, is holding on into memory. And, and the interesting thing is that the level of activity we see in the brain, the overall level, is lower than what you'd see if you ever looked at anything, even the faintest possible image. And yet, that information is still there. So it suggests that thinking about something or imagining something is, is kind of like seeing it, but at such low levels of activity that you would you'd never confuse it for actual immediate perception. It's, 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 it's a faint echo of, uh, of, uh, of, of actually seeing the real thing, in a sense.